Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the legendary server. We are here. We are with Laden and uh, we need to have a little word with him. I can't remember quite what about well, Amarthiel's trail. We need to find where Amarthiel is now that we know who Sarah Oakheart truly is. Um, yeah, she's much more powerful than I imagine. Indeed, I believe her dead since the Battle of Fornost. Okay, so we the only place left for her is a Numinas. Uh, for it may be the pedestal where once set the Palantir of Inumina still stands. You should go to Evendim quickly and speak with Kalingalad. He is at the ranger camp in Tinadir in the Eastern Shore. So we need to talk to Galad in the Eastern Shore. So I feel like we should have just like, finished that quest up last episode and started this episode with uh, doing that. But we should be relatively easily able to get to there. I think we can even go from here. No, but we can probably go... We can get there pretty quickly. It's fine. Uh, before we go and actually head over there, I do want to have a look at our Hobbit gift of the day and the week, since we do still have the virtual experience game that's going to help us out a lot. I do not have much inventory space, though, so I am going to get rid of this uh, piece here, and I will also get rid of... I'll get rid of some of these. It's fine. We're not hugely worried about those. I'll probably get rid of those dies as well, but I'll hold on to them for the second. Let's have a look at what our silver and gold gifts going to be. So 20 virtue experience, but we also get a massive pile of copper scraps, which is now worth one gold. That's kind of nice. And our gold is going to be 100 virtue XP with some combat run speed boosts, which aren't too great. So we use that up. We should get two bonus XP there and 10 there, which is, I think, what we got either last episode or in the... Um, it was either last episode... Or in the uh, last regular episode thing. Uh, I sold those because we're not actually going to be collecting these at level 44. We're never really going to get them now. So that's why I did that. But let's go quickly. Go to Kalangland and uh, see where it takes us. Well, we know where it's going to take us. We at least have the one gold coin gain today. So we're overall still making profit. Just a little less the more we travel. So luckily I found out you can go from, well, Gavforth near to Esteldin, and then Esteldin straight to here. Makes things a lot quicker for us since now we have the slight annoyance of going to a Numenas. We're kind of lucky-ish because compared to when we were last here uh, on the, you know, Arkenstone playthrough, uh, I don't think we would have had the boat travel because we weren't VIP at the time. So at least now we can go here, which is going to be a lot quicker. Uh, discover Amarthiel's plans at Anuminas. This also could just be a um, an instance entirely possible. Let's have a look what that is. Uh, okay, we lose my uh, lose my lose vitality, but gain fate. But we also lose the max morale. Not a huge deal. The ring might be worth switching out for for the vitality and fate, but we lose the might. Uh, bracelet. The bracelet of valor is what we got recently. 82 agility and combat power. All of these probably aren't great. This is probably our best choice, but we lose that might and the vitality I don't think is overall worth it for the the second ring um, because the vitality is already quite high plus the morale and then we lose the might, but we gain quite a lot more vitality. And I think that's enough to counteract the max morale. So probably just get the most expensive item which looks like the uncut diamond and then just sell that off because otherwise not really worth it but well, as I expected it's a solo quest cannot be completed with a fellowship let's see how this goes and if we survive suspecting that Amarthiel the champion of Angmar has come to Anuminas, a suspicion supported by the warning of the elf Lairdon the rangers of the north prepare to infiltrate the ruined city and put an end to her evil plans okay so here we are we are going to gain uh, a bonus 25% reputation reputation is going to be a big thing these hopefully drop some bands of Numenar are that'll be ready? quite nice but let's head in see how we go with this I don't really remember what happens during this quest I know obviously we're gonna come in and kill enemies I've killed enough uh, of the Angmarin in here for ages before in my life but I'm not really sure they're level 37 they're gonna be really easy to kill and we're gonna get just these small little bits of rep while we go he gave me a decent amount they don't look like they're dropping anything though 
Are you guys level... F yeah, you are level 50. So it's a level 50 quest. I've gone through that before saying that until, like, Moria now, all the quests we have are level 50. Well, there's a Marthiel. We know that. So, they're not dropping anything, unfortunately, but we are getting a little bit of rep. Find and stop a Marthiel. None can hope to stand against us. Kind of talking to be a different place. There we are. Can I put a little bit of hope on? Get a little bit of <laughs> less dread. <laughs> Brought the planter to a no and I will use it to look over my lands as the kings of old did. <laughs> I like that guy just just chatting to himself in the back. That which was hidden from me will be found, and all shall look upon Amarthiel and despair. Come, my loyal servants, my black Numenorians, there is much to be done within my new city. Yeah, it's a bit broken down, so... Deal with them. Okay, let's get back into here. Get floaty names back on. You have 43k morale. Are you guys gonna help? At all? Okay, cool. Uh, I need some morale. That's what I need. Because they didn't want to help me <laughs> to start with, which is real nice of them. Um, I wonder if I could use the Horn of Gondor skill to do anything to him. I wonder if that actually does anything. That does stun him, that's good. Not that it's particularly useful, but it's good to know these things. This is a three second stun at least. And it still does damage, it's not purely stun as well. Probably want to do... Exchange of blows as well. Just in case. Um, I don't know, I think we're good. Got a little bit of morale back. There we are, Cal and Glad hiding behind there. <laughs> Thank you. That was quick. That really didn't take much time. Let's return. I fear that Martial has won this hour. We shall plan our next move in quickly, so a victory will be short lived. Amartheel, the champion of Angmar, has now also become its regent in the absence of Mordidith. Under the lidless eye of Sauron, she has removed herself to the ruined city of Anuminas, seeking a power to strengthen her position. A dark time is coming for Eriador. A time which may only be averted through pain and grief. Well, let us hope that that doesn't come to pass. Uh, we can hopefully fight back and survive. That's uh, the plan, at least. Let's talk to Galen Glad. Let's see how things are going to go. Uh, what he wants us to what do, do next. We'll pick up this, as I said. So we have now completed a book nine, The Shores of Evendim. We, that means start book 10, the champion of Angmar. We need to talk to Leoden, which means I have to go back now to uh, Gafforfnir, which is fine, I guess. Uh, so we'll quickly head back there now. But yeah, we have uh, completed that. We've obviously got one, two, three, four, five, six different books remaining until this is our countdown now to when uh, we're going to get our legendary weapons. How can I be so let us head back to Esteldin and then back to Gafforfnir and let's have a little word with Leiden and see what to do next. Well, that was a waste of silver. I actually found out I lied. Um, <laughs> luckily, I caught it before I headed off, but he's actually, you know, uh, Leiden is now in here. He's been given a room in the keep of the island of Tinadir. His room is atop the flight of stairs on the right as you enter the keep, so. Saved a little bit of money because I didn't have to come back, but still wasted a bit just by heading off in the first place. I did think it was a little bit weird to kind of go from Gafforfnir to here to do one quest to head back. Like, I guess sort of happens. Did you say on the right? I think it said the right. I feel like they could just do a little bit of cleaning. Be nice. 
There we are. I did read properly. Laden. What do you need? Uh, you to help me. Uh, it's good to see you again, but it uh, seems we could curse me always in sadness. The happier day of which I spoke at our last meeting, alas, has not yet arrived. The days seem to grow darker still. Amartya will really have revealed herself and sits now in judgment within the ruins of Anumanas. Okay. Um, there is much more about Angmar's new region that is known to Kalgard and the range. So I've written down much of a story in this letter. Read the tale and bring it to Kalgard so he may decide what must be done. You must do this with the utmost speed more than just the city of the Dunedain. Rest upon your answer to Amartheel's challenge. So let's go talk to Kalgard. We'll see if we finish off after that. Depends on what he wants us to do first. And, uh, have a little read of what this says. Okay, so we'll make our way back to Kalangar, but let's read this on the way. I have set this tale into writing so you'll understand the dangers that wait not just Evendim, but all of Middle-earth. The Dunedain shall fall, fail to stop Amartheel's ambitions in Anumanas. Um, tell her, I must tell you these dark days as are nothing compared to the fate that awaits us should Amartheel succeed in our errands. Have you heard whispers champion Angmar search for the title Amartheel bore at the height of her master's power and before her the good people of the North quailed, the armies of the Witch King not, uh, marched behind her on Fornost and Fornost fell. Much of her strength come from her ring, Narquil, one of the lesser rings as such things are counted but still possess the great power of evil. Oh yeah, she was saying she wanted to find Narquil. Um, when Narquil upon her finger, all who beheld at Martha lost any desires to stand against her. Some tried in vain to flee while others set down their weapons bewitched by her terrible beauty. All fell beneath a vicious blade for Narquil, raised in the champion of Angmar, a terrible bloodlust, there would be no mercy for the fallen. Basically, that's worst case scenario. If you don't do this, if you don't stop her, what can I do for you? this is what what's going to happen. At least today we're getting quite a lot of XP. I mean, that's not a massive amount of XP, but it's still a decent amount. We talk to Rosseloth. Okay, where's Rosseloth? In Anumanas. She will tell you how fares the battle. So just down here. So we're gonna go this way. Talk to this person here, and then head in. And I think the um the Angmarin shouldn't choice. attack us because uh, we should be too high level. So men are rain. So yeah, I th think yeah we're high enough level where these guys aren't gonna be attacking us, which is good. We can kind of come through here with a little bit of ease. We're not gonna have to worry about. You know, being held back by a ton of like tomb robbers and you know Angmar and such. I do quite enjoy this area. Maybe it's just because I spent so much time. Like I, I hate the swimming aspect of it because you, you know, there's so much water that you have to, without VIP especially, it's just you go here and then you swim across. That's the fastest way of doing it. Um, this is generally faster now because my horse is faster and everything, but. I don't like that aspect of it, but I quite like Anuminus. I spent quite a lot of time here, getting like bands of Numenor and stuff like that. Um, back when you could just use them on any character, and then you could actually get lottery points for it. That was quite a, uh, a common thing, which I actually still have quite a lot from still. So we'll come through this area. There are a few higher level enemies. I think these guys are sort of the lower ones. I think there will be a few more around here that possibly do uh, notice and attack us. I think. Or is it just like one enemy occasionally? I'm sure we'll find out soon. So these guys were the ones I'm thinking of. They're level 40. So they are a bit higher level, like three levels higher. But just not high enough that it matters. Like this, this guy here, I think you have to defeat to, um, yeah, you have to like defeat that guy to reclaim something, I think. Greetings to you. Okay. You want to defeat to uh, Fainaleg, he's coordinating our defenses. Okay, so that'll most likely be up here. And that's also good because, yeah, as I thought. It's also good because we'll then get the swift travel between these areas. Which is definitely useful for us because more stable masters are always good, but we can at least swift travel to and from here now. It's going to be a lot better for us rather than having to, um, you know, travel by boat to out here ish and then head all the way in. 
Right, these guys who, even if I attack that guy, wouldn't actually, I wouldn't get anything from it because uh, the, the name was gray, or the like, health bar was gray, so. So you're a warden of Anumenaz. Stay you give me a moments. quest to talk to Elrond, so that's a, a foreword for a different book. Okay, so that's not really what we want, I think. What can I do for this, you? we will finish off though. I think we'll finish off for today, because we've uh, basically used all our bonus XP up and also kind of reached a nice point. You know, we've got a healer here, we can get the Stable Master, uh, and then we need to talk to uh, Guanil, Torturian, and Bow Wielding, or defeat eight Bow Wielding Amarin. We'll get either a new necklace, which isn't really good. I mean, that's kind of good. The on use give instant morale, so maybe it's worth holding on to it and then having it and then switching out straight away. But. Uh, earring wise gives us power which isn't too great because we don't really care about that but also our earrings are never really going to change now until 105 which is going to be a very long time ago or 106 technically because this level's with us it's fated like suited towards us really well especially the empowered earring the earring of the dead city I think they just kind of there were probably quite a few people that like chose the wrong high elf earring so they just kind of made it an all-round, you know, they're both the same. We're both getting 36 fate, 36 might, 30 vitality. The agility and will won't make a difference to us. And then obviously we get the critical rating, master rating, and uh, yeah, the XP increase as well, which is good. So maybe we'll hold on to this just for the instant morale thing, but stat-wise it's otherwise not that great. And our current one is is better. So, we'll hold on to that. Where does that take us? Oh, that's quite a way around. I guess it will want us to kill some uh, some Amarin, obviously. We'll uh, we'll get this stable monster so we can get back here relatively easily if we need to go anywhere. I'm going to have a look at this heavy armor stuff, because these are for marks and medallions uh, for level 50 stuff, which isn't that far away. Like, next episode, maybe we could get that. So, this could be our sort of next sort of thing but you can see the armor that we're wearing is pretty good like less armor but we get might and more vitality so not really something we want to worry about too much and those require the right uh, the rights of a numinous whereas these aren't a huge deal but if we get the set we can get 82 more vitality or 82 might 41 vitality uh, might 24 might from getting all the extra stuff which i'm sure overall it's probably going to be better for us because it's heavy armor and it's going to be mostly towards might and vitality. And like I said before, when we get to about 50, everything kind of gets a bit more suited to its the correct stats, I think. Um, so we will have to switch out for stuff like this. So we're going to get a lot more morale but lose might. But I think overall it might be worth it. Get some medallions. I can run through on some other characters uh, in between, see if I can get some more medallions for myself. Um, I'll have to work out that whole thing. It does look like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There are seven, so we don't have to get the shield, which is kind of nice. But that does mean we are going to have to wear the cloak. Because there's seven. You know, one, two, three, four, seven. And the set bonus at the max is for the um, six items. Because I think it would be unfair if you had to wear a shield to get the best set equivalent. But I guess that means if you had shield ability to use a shield, you could use a different cloak, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I'll work on that, because uh, that's, what, 60, 72 medallions, and I've got one. So, definitely need to do some work on that, but that's going to be it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, we'll have those relatively soon. I'm not guaranteeing it next episode, but I can work on it bit by bit, just like I'm doing the epic battles on the main one. So, I'll do that, but as I said, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.